welcome back everybody so guys there is a little problem that for example you can see that this is the heading this is a simple paragraph okay but I just don't want to apply the style the P style with this paragraph okay or I just don't apply the I just want to apply the style with only with this two P tags then what to do this can be a really big question so how to make them solve if you remember that I just talked about the ID in some previous classes I just talked about you uh, about the ID that uh, the ID is basic, basically the identity for any of the tag you can apply the ID how to apply the ID ID is an attribute in this way you can apply the ID but the ID as I said that ID has a big role so ID has a big role for CSS too so this is basically called the CSS selector just like the tag I'm just setting the ID that uh, pick this you can put whatever or why not I just simply add the sec para okay the mean of this sec para I'm talking about the second paragraph so going to this style.css uh, now right now I'm just applying the style with this the second para only so going to this style so CSS just removing the P now save and go back to the browser and refresh now P has no style perfect but I'm just gonna call the I'm just gonna apply this style with the second para so sec P A R A sec para go there yeah spelling should be same if I just use there the underscore then there should be underscore two not the hyphen perfect but this is the ID not the tag okay if you just don't don't put anything before the text that means it's a tag but I'm just putting the hash if you remember that to calling the ID we have to put the hash so go back to the browser and refresh now only the second paragraph has this style because there I just selected the second para and I just applied this style to the second para okay now this is the ID well if I just copy this and paste this here and save and now refresh now you can see that both of them has a style the sec para because the sec para has designed here but we just apply the sec para with the multiple tags but this is not the perfect way just why because identity should be a single for a single person okay or a single element so I just assigned the same ID with two elements so this is not a good way and this is not the validated way so how to solve the problem if you just want to apply the same ID with the multiple multiple elements so basically you just cannot do this you do you just can assign the class with the multiple elements you can make them a single class for example the sec para can be a class too so how it can be a class just simply type the CLA or why not this this is the ID it's okay but this there I'm just uh, making a class okay so man class and I just use the hyphen this time main class okay now just copy and we can put as much as we want the element in the class so the sense the simple paragraph the first one is the main is the part of the main class too and the heading is the part of the main class too that's pretty awesome go to the style.css and create the main class so main class but as I said that we have to put the sign before the element so for the ID we have to use the hash but for the class we have to use the period this is the period so I'm just going inside and uh, putting the value the color but the color I'm just putting I'm just putting the mm, green no I just applied the green already the brown I can apply any color whatever I want the brown and then what I'm just putting after that I'm just applying the background color there are a lot of properties of the CSS but because we just know about the background color and the color so I'm just talking about this continuously so right now I'm just applying the silver color silver as a background so save and go to the browser and refresh now you can see that this one this one and the heading has the class so I hope you've understood the, about both of them the class and the ID interestingly we can call the IDs and classes in the internal CSS too but we cannot in the inline CSS because in the inline CSS we just directly call the style in the tag another interesting thing is if you're just using the class then 
um, for example I'm removing the background color for this with this class and saving and going back to the browser now refresh now these things has no background color so I'm going back and just adding another class by dot B A C okay back color whatever you want to type you can type in the name of the uh, as the name of the class or the identity and there the background color I'm only putting the background color here color and what more I'm just putting here the background color as the brown sorry the silver and then now go to the index.html basically we can add multiple classes uh, we can add multiple classes in a single time in a single attribute so here by adding in by adding in a space I'm just putting the back color another class now save and go to the browser and refresh now you can see that this one has the background color do you want to apply the background color with this class too so let's just apply the back color save and go and refresh now all of them has the brown color that means the main class but uh, for the second class I just applied for only two okay I can apply the class of the background color with this one as you can see the back color now save and go to the browser it has no special text color but the background color so in this way we can play by using the IDs and the classes 